If you want to get in contact with me, the best way to do it is on Instagram. If you just want to say what up, if you want to tell me you love my videos, you can tell me that you hate my videos, but the best way to do it is on Instagram. Peace, y'all. Johnny Fastlane here. So, Swiss Beats goes in on Drake. And Eminem disses Diddy and Joe Button on an unreleased version of Conway the Machine's Bang. Let's talk hip hop. <laughs> Why are you going so bad on bro though? Like I'm actually being nice. Yo, you know, you know, you know, me and Wayne just gotta go. Wayne, 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 Wayne ain't only one of my favorite MCs. I wanna put a snare on it just to be a part of it. Okay. Wayne ain't only one of my favorite MCs, but Wayne is also a very close and dear friend and brother. A real guy. So you know, you know, you know, you know. You gonna have to help me understand this, this, this Drake talk that you give me off the record. I don't want to make Drake a part of this conversation. I don't want him to right, be right, the right. records. The records is too big. You understand? You know. All right, King. All right. I'm and, it's, and, it's, and it's all love. You know what I'm saying? It's all love. But I said what I said, and it is what it is. And it, but the fact that you couldn't put that record out, why you couldn't put that record out? You answer that question to me. All right, chill. So that was a clip of Buster Rhymes and Swiss Beats on Instagram Live, right? And the whole situation is that Swiss Beats has a show called um, Zone Radio on Instagram Live where he kind of interviews different artists, right? So yesterday he was interviewing Buster Rhymes and Buster Rhymes played an unreleased song with himself and Drake, right? Called Stay Down and basically it's about ladies and yo, I just need a girl that can stay down, right? The song is okay, you know, it's nothing too crazy, uh, nothing to write home about, but basically Basically, Swiss Beats started asking Busta Rhymes, you know, when did you record this song with Drake? And then Busta Rhymes is like, yo, I did this song a couple years ago, right? So then Swiss Beats starts getting upset, calling Drake, look a pussy boy, calling with his, you know, Jeff Faken accent, calling Drake a pussy and all this and that because Drake didn't allow um, Busta Rhymes to drop the song, right? And Busta Rhymes is like, listen, I've been in the game for a long time. I don't take it personally. You know, Drake had his path that he was doing. I got my career path. So if he didn't want me to come out with the song, it's all good like me and Drake are still cool ass friends and plus why are you aiming at Drake I didn't even know y'all had beef right so Swiss Beats is like yeah me and Drake had a moment we did a song yeah we had a hit and I think he's talking about you fancy huh with uh Drake Swiss Beats and T.I. which was cool that came out like 10 years ago and so Swiss Beats explained that him and Drake had a little you know hit at that time but that him and Drake are not cool no more right um which is crazy as hell right so Buster Rhymes tries to explain to Swiss Beats that that it wasn't really Drake that said don't drop the song, but that Drake wanted to get on some Jay Dilla beats, right? And then I guess Drake didn't like the song or whatever the case may be, so it didn't come out, right? Um, so the beat on the song, you know, Stay Down is cool, um, also unremarkable, and I'm not sure if Jay Dilla produced it or not, but you know, that's what Busta Rhymes said, right? He didn't really say that Jay Dilla produced that one specifically, but he did say that Jay, uh, that uh, Drake wanted to be on Jay Dilla beats. Anyway, so uh, everybody is coming for Swiss beats, right? The whole internet and this is crazy to me because Swiss Beats is an OG triple OG uh, and I'm from New York and he's from New York so I have a lot of respect for Swiss Beats for, for, so for me to see other people disrespecting him is just like mind-blowing to me right um, so anyway Swiss Beats sees this and I guess that he saw this and felt pressure uh, and was forced to apologize to Drake I want to address my actions on his own radio last night man you know um Mainly because I was I was in the wrong space, I was in the wrong energy, you know, and I hate that my kids and other people got to see me be on that side. I was a little nice, I was a little excited, you know. I definitely spoke on some things that um, that I definitely shouldn't have spoke on. You know what I'm saying? Uh, although I might feel a certain way about a certain person and different things like that, as a G. I'm man enough to, enough to say that, you know, I did that on the wrong platform and I wasn't supposed to do that like that because I, would, I wouldn't respect somebody else if they did that like that, you understand? So Swiss Beats is like, yo, I apologize, you know, I might have issues with him, uh, but as a G, I shouldn't have did it like that, especially not on that platform. That was some sucker shit uh, to address something like that, especially like in public. And if a nigga did that to me, I wouldn't respect him. So I'm sorry, I apologize, right? Um, but you know, the apology fell on deaf ears because everybody was going in on Swiss Beats, especially people from Drake's crew. 
crew, right? A bunch of people from Drake's crew was going in on Swiss Beats, but one of those people uh, that was going in on Swiss Beats is Chubbs, right? And Chubbs is basically Drake's like highest paid goon or right hand man or, you know, the head of his security. But him and Chubbs been down since like Drake was born. So, you know, that's even like his best friend too, right? Um, anyway, Chubbs goes, the real Swiss Beats, we don't need no apology. It's clear that you don't like us or act the same when we see you, a pussy. So, and that's basically what everybody kept on calling them, like a pussy all over Twitter and Instagram, right? Um, that's all we know for now. I'm sure that Drake will probably throw some subliminals to Swiss Beats and a few songs coming up, especially on songs that he's with New York artists because those New York artists are gonna catch it. Uh, but other than that, you know, I don't think it's really any big, you know, huge issue. But uh, let me know what y'all think about this in the comments. Alright, Joe, so Eminem dissed uh, Diddy and Joe Button in an unreleased version of his verse that he did for a song with a uh, Conway the Machine called Bang, right? And basically he says, shout out Puffy Combs, but fuck Revolt. It's like a broke remote. No wonder Button's broke, dissing Joe Button and of course Diddy, right? Um, the whole situation is fine, 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 right? Uh, Eminem, first of all, I gotta say the verse is pretty decent, right? It's not a trash ass verse or anything like that. Eminem definitely could put words together well right but on the other hand it seems like Eminem is like kind of stuck in this weird like cycle of just name dropping other artists so that he can you know get hot or so that people can say yo let's listen to this Eminem verse because he's throwing shots at Ja Rule again or he's throwing shots at Lord Jamar again or throwing shots at whoever again right so at this point all he does is diss people that are safe right um Eminem kind of realized that this was a very good gift back in 1998 when he was dissing Christina Aguilera and Fred Durst and Carson Daly but ever since then he's continued to do it you know what I'm saying so that's kind of why it seems a little stale even though the rhymes are dope right um other than that man I just kind of you know take issue with him as a, a white rapper dissing Revolt TV one of the only you know black own hip-hop platforms that we have uh, so that we can speak you know our word and get our news out there from us the people right um, you know there are other black owned networks like own which Oprah owns but she plays like replays of lifetime movies and everything on there but a black owned network like Revolt TV which Diddy owns they actually are for the black culture they hold town hall meetings about you know different things that plague the black community so for Eminem to you know just come at Diddy's revolt is kind of crazy but I don't really think that he was thinking all that into it um, I just think that he's just dissing Diddy because him and Diddy had beef for the last 20 years you know um, but anyway let me know what you think about this and everything in the comments down below don't forget to like comment share subscribe make sure you hit that notification bell follow me at Johnny Fastlane on Instagram and y'all already know what to do peace